Julio's Kitchen is back, and yes, I'm back. And today's dish is a special request from one of my subscribers. Uh, fish broth, fish soup. And these are all my ingredients, as uh, you can see. Uh, it's gonna be a very, very delicious soup. Uh, it's my way of preparing it, and I hope you like it. And here, I'm gonna follow with ingredients. First of all, fish store. Uh, you can use any type of fish, guys. I bought a red snapper. Uh, uh, you'll see what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to prepare it. And also all these vegetables. Look, my Thai chilies. Beautiful. I got bok choy over there. Red onion. Ginger. Carrot. Potatoes. Over there, there's spinach and Roma tomatoes. But I went ahead of myself because I want to cut down on timing of this video, so I want to show you what I have here for you guys. Uh, this is the base. This is the, like I say, work with your time. Do this ahead of time, because what I have here is two fish heads. I put them almost 45 minutes ago, and all it is is fine uh, fish heads at the fish store, uh, but like two, uh, they were kind of big. So this uh, dish is for uh, four portions. So two big fish heads. All I added in, let's see if I can get a, I added lime slices, four of them. Also added one piece of onion that is all disintegrating in there. I added a bay leaf, four of them and a little bit of a uh, cinnamon stick also to garlic clove okay so this is it i'm gonna let it simmer for a little bit more and after i'm gonna strain it and get all the base this is the flavor oh i also added some fish seasoning fish stock uh powder okay so this is it do it ahead of time guys because this is gonna be the taste the red snapper is gonna be into the broth and at the end you'll see how beautiful this dish turns out okay stay with me okay here we're ready to make this uh fish soup red snapper okay next step we are going to add butter turn the heat up a little bit good we have almost 175 grams of water butter right here good butter half of an onion is it too much? Mm, the bread that is gonna reduce, okay? But you know what? Yeah, a little bit too much. I'm gonna start. Uh, see, a little mistakes. Don't worry about. It. That's what I want you to watch. My mistakes, so you can learn from them. Okay. One quarter of an onion. Roma tomatoes. Yes, two of them. Tomatoes will. Uh, consume too inside. okay now i have carrots here but i'm not gonna add them yet i don't want them to uh overcook what else what else that's it we're gonna cook it oh yes we're gonna add the garlic remember that we added garlic to the uh fish stock so we're gonna add a little bit of garlic probably like not even half a gram okay and ginger Half a gram of ginger. Yes, that's gonna make a lot of flavor. Okay, guys. So here we're gonna start cooking. Okay, so I'm gonna cut the video because I wanna make it short. But before I cut the video, I'm gonna add this. Thai chilies. Yes, my favorite. I'm adding two, guys. If, uh, if you don't want it too spicy, whatever. I don't think it's gonna be that spicy, but... Don't add any if you don't like spice. Add one, add two, try it, all right? So this is my way of cooking. So this is gonna start uh, mixing, reducing, okay? And I already have the broth. I already strained it. And yes, stay with me. All right, see how that's cooking? All the juices are coming out, they're all mixing together, garlic, ginger onion tomato right so we're pretty good 
Ah, smell? Mmm, beautiful. Okay, bok choy. Chop, you can cut it any way you like. Cut it my way. And now we are almost ready to add the broth. I wanna show you something. I have the potatoes right here. And I'm gonna add one, two, three pieces. Why I'm adding the potatoes. People say like, oh, they're gonna overcook, Julio. Yeah, that's what I want. I want them to dissolve because that's gonna be the body of the broth. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, cool. All right, so the rest of the potatoes I'm gonna add later. Now, time for the broth. Trainer? Okay. Seafood broth. Remember we cooked it earlier? See, you have to strain it because even though you strain it at the beginning, you are gonna get some stuff. Uh, see, I'm gonna show you right on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it, but look at the bottom. There's some stuff. Up. Okay, so this is a good point of the cooking part because you can see that I still have uh, fish broth, fish stock remaining. But if you can see that you're measuring, right? How many people, right? Or something. And, um, and how much fish you have. You're gonna add a little bit more. Because that's gonna reduce. Uh, the flavor of this fish stock is amazing. Uh, I know a lot of you, like I say, you don't like uh, cooking fish because of the smell. But that's only at the beginning when it's raw. Believe me, right now it smells really uh, nice. So here we go. I'm not gonna add the whole uh, eight cups. I had eight cups, but they reduced the prob. There's probably like seven, six and a half. I'm gonna leave it as that, and I'm gonna come back when this is boiling again. Okay, so I can start adding more stuff and also the fish. Okay, back. So when I added the veggies and I added the broth, uh, it's been simmering for almost like uh, 20, 25 minutes, and it's pretty ready now to keep adding the rest of the ingredients. First of all, the fish will go on at the very almost end because the fish will cook so fast. Now remember the potatoes? I have them here, but what's most important guys, what is it? Always, always, always taste it. There's no salt and pepper in it. So I'm gonna start adding. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add probably a gram of salt and then keep tasting it and a gram of the black pepper okay and then taste it because you wanna you don't wanna uh, uh, your bread to be salty look how beautiful look at the color it's changing right and all those uh, vegetables are nice and cooked so we'll see, we can gonna taste it, we're gonna taste it. Oh, wow. Just perfect. Uh, the spice is perfect the way I like it. Oh my God. It, it's the right amount of salt, the right amount of pepper. Okay, so we got that in. Taste is good, now the potatoes. So remember I added the, the, uh, all the potatoes earlier because I needed, uh, I needed them to dissolve into the water. Potatoes uh, gives uh, uh, a, a body to the soup. They make it a little bit thicker. So there you go. Now carrot. Look how beautiful. All those colors. Look all the beauty of uh, cooking. And now our spinach. Nice and clean. This spinach might seem like a lot, right? But you know what happens when you cook the spinach. Look at that. Wow. And the taste, guys, is amazing. Now, we're going to let it simmer for another five minutes. Like, the most, ten minutes. Okay, I'll come back. Oh, I'll show you what I have for you, too. Because I love presentation. I love my, uh... I always tell you, my dishes have to be, uh... 
presenter well. So I have here for presentation. Look. Oh my god. That's red snapper too, okay? So you'll see the plating. I, I love plating. I mean it, it's me, it's a hand ass. 65% uh, taste food, but 30% to 35% is about plating, how the food looks. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. All right, a soup is being another uh, five minutes, it's simmering, and now the best ingredient, a red snapper. So after this point, guys, this soup is gonna be ready in probably another five, five to seven minutes okay look at that the fast fast how fast it, the uh the fish cook look how loaded it is with vegetables and this is the, the consistency that i needed see so this fish broth is amazing if you think you need more water oh remember yeah we had fish stock right so add it or don't add it if you don't need to but i'm happy with it I'm gonna let it simmer for another five minutes and we are ready to plate. I see you plating. Thank you guys for allowing me to present my followers, my subscribers, Julio's Kitchen Bank. Oh, this is it, it's done. Uh, what for dinner Saturday? This beautiful, you know what? I gotta say this. I'm amazed with this soup. Me and my buddy at work, we talk about it. We talk like, no, I didn't like. Thank you, homie. For you, it turned out so good. I wish I can bring you. I'm gonna bring you some. I am bringing you some, okay? Look at this beauty. Taste amazing. I want to give you a good closer because this is this is my style. It's so loaded with veggies. Uh, the fish inside the, the the soup. Oh my god. What, what else can I tell you? Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm gonna have my, uh, you know, I'm gonna have this soup with my beer and and yes, I'm amazed. Honestly, I did taste it earlier. I'm gonna have another taste. Just uh, oh my god, look at it! Wow, how much? Anyways, you can have it with lime. Anything you uh, like to add to it, add it. And this is it. This is my fish uh, red snapper soup. Thank you for watching. Until next time, mom. Um, what's for dinner? Julio's Kitchen, Vancouver. Subscribe, please. If you haven't subscribed yet. And I'll see you next time on What's for Dinner.